random bit in the middle. Take this, awakening, remembering, God in attitude. I've actually been up quite a while, but this little baby God dog sneaking in my brain, thinking I'm a moral thing, not being this one, but the fact that he's sneaking in my brain. Barely hear me. Barely hear me. Let me see. How about now? Is it better? Can you hear me better now? Anyway, it's so delicious to have this trusting, innocent being next to me. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the sound alert reflection so I know where I'm at. But anyway, so having this being to keep my hand on, to feel the peace, to feel the wholesome trust is so blissful that I didn't dare change my position. What I'm most present to at this moment is that all there is, is God. Masquerading as everything. If you actually knew that you and all around you is God, how would that change your behavior? How would that change how you feel? How would that change or affect your level of peace and trust and joy? What if we all participated in lifting the veil and ending the charade by beginning to refer to one another as God instead of these earthly names that we've donned for this time? And what if every person that you encountered you addressed as God? or goddess, whichever you prefer. So it is God who has written back to me on this screen in the name of Stu Schreiber, informing me that I could barely be heard. And uh, when the sound became better, informed me of that as well. And there is only God here. God as you, God as me, God as Joey. God as the sky. God as the bed. God as the trees. God as the clothing. God as every sound 
of every creature and all the music and all the cars and all the honking. <laughs> Would you feel safer? Would you feel more relaxed? If you stayed connected to the truth? Would you have more fun? The time of awakening is upon us. And we can accelerate it through our participation. The jig is up. I know the truth. That every character in the divine play is God in disguise. So what if we acknowledged that and addressed each other that way and took responsibility for planting the seed of awakening in every single form of the one that we encounter? Even if it feels funny, even if we feel silly, even if it feels embarrassing, even if we catch the other off guard, even if we trigger them or cause them to feel uncomfortable, what if we just played with saying, hello God, to everyone today? And if we enjoy it, then maybe we'll do it again tomorrow and the next day and the next. Maybe all there is to do at this point is participate in awakening. Can you give yourself permission to bask in that? To bask in the awareness that you and all that exists is the one. the one source of pure love light masquerading as all that is. Surprise! There is no one out there to fear. We are mirrors reflecting, my dears. See yourselves in each other so clear. Past the stories and costumes and fears. Rise up, brothers and sisters, return. 
to your oneness, your godness return. Turn and face one another and see. Neath our masks, we are one entity. Prophecy, come through me. Now's the time to set us free. Set us free. Prophecy, God is you. And you are me. God is you. And you are me. I love you, God. I love me, God. Hello, God. Goddess, all that is, in and as all that is, I see you. I wish you infinite grace, and God willing, I will see you again tomorrow. Thanks for showing up. Namaste.